hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel today as you probably already saw in the title i do have a massive massive perfume haul obviously you can't see my face today i was not feeling like doing my makeup or anything like that and also i just wanted to let you know that this is probably gonna be my last video for august i'm gonna take a short break maybe two three weeks something like that I really really need a break and just wanted to let you know I'm not going anywhere okay I'm coming back but probably for like three weeks don't think it's gonna be longer than that um, I'm gonna take a short break and yeah now let's move on with the haul because like I said we got lots and lots of fragrances the first one is from EPC this one is Tonka Extraordinaire EPC it's a brand that I was intrigued but I was not sure Obviously, I got the full bottle and then I'm uh, having here two discovery kits. Let me tell you something. I want to bring this brand to my website because it's absolutely amazing. Tonka Extraordinaire is not your typical Tonka. It's not your usual Tonka. It's not necessarily your traditional gourmand. It starts off for me with Tonka bean. It has myrrh. It has labdanum. It's dark. And sexy it's not too sweet but then the more you leave it on the skin the sweeter it gets it's such a unique take on tonka bean it's not like i said just plain tonka, tonka bean it's not that it's dark in the opening but then it's getting sweeter and this is definitely gonna be a unisex fragrance even though i really really like it that's not my favorite my favorite fragrance i've got in here two discovery kits and I felt in love with probably seven of their perfumes, but two in particular completely stole my heart. The first one is going to be Cardamom Moss. This is probably one of the best cardamom fragrances that I've smelled. And you know how picky I am with cardamom. Like, I don't like Starlight from Zerzhov. I don't like many, many popular cardamom, but I absolutely love this one. And the other one, which is totally unisex, is going to be Black Nagarmota. This fragrance, it's a leather perfume. But again, it's a smooth leather. It's just this fragrance during the like fall winter is going to be absolutely amazing. There were others that I really, really liked, like Jasmine Osmanthus. Obviously, it's Jasmine and Osmanthus. Uh, it was another one that had like Jasmine and Amber, more like white flowers and Amber. This one, Flo Dama. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's absolutely stunning. I need this brand on my website, okay, I need to get my hands on the cardamom moss and the black nagarmota because it's, that, that's so good, that's just so good, uh, but yeah, obsessed with this brand and also you need to try Tsonka Extraordinaire. Now, let's move on to San Gourmands. New Notes Caramel of Vanilla. I already spoke about this perfume because I had a sample of it. You know how much I love Latte Cherry from New Notes. This one is obviously caramel and vanilla. It has a similar vibe to Epico, Vani Charnel, like that type, Vanna Gloria, that type of vanilla. But this one definitely has a caramel note as well. If you love gourmands, you are absolutely gonna love this one. The next one, it's a coffee scent. This one is Duro Cafe. Duro Cafe. Like the name suggests, it's coffee, but this one has sugar, it has dark chocolate as well. It has a little bit of patchouli. It's a coffee that I like. I don't particularly like coffee scents. I have a few that I really like, but I would not say I'm the biggest fan of coffee. This is strong, okay? This fragrance is strong. And like the bottle is beautiful. We can't say anything about the bottle because it's, it's absolutely stunning. Uh, but the fragrance itself, it's a strong coffee with a touch of patchouli and then obviously you're getting the dark chocolate and the sugar then we're gonna have five fragrances from lorenzo Pasalia. i was honestly so so happy that i got this brand on my website because i love van ecstasy from lorenzo Pasalia. i blind bought that one it was love at first sniff that's one of my favorite vanillas and all of these ones i really really want to try this one in here, Vampiram, is definitely a sister to Van Ecstasy. This one has like five dif different types of vanilla. It has rum, it has patchouli, it has oud, it has tonka bean. It reminds me of Keali Vanilla Royal Sugar Patchouli, but it's 10 times better. I really didn't like the opening on that one. The patchouli was way too strong. This one is so well blended and is so strong. Absolutely love it. The next one 
cherrying. It got popular at one point. Uh, cherry ink, like the name suggests, is going to be cherry and ink. But I can definitely smell some tsonka bean in the dry down. For some reason, it gives me the vibe of like a cherry coke in the dry down. It's not tone for lush cherry. It's, it's not that type of cherry. You have to try it. You have to at least try it. A new release, I think is their newest one, Summer Hummer. Oh boy, Summer Hummer is an amazing, freshy, sweet, fruity, unisex fragrance. It definitely has coconut, but I would say it's more like coconut water for me. It has a little bit of mango, it has some rum, it has some bergamot. It's unisex, maybe leaning slightly, slightly masculine, but I absolutely love it. Probably this is my second favorite. Van Ecstasy is still my favorite. Probably it's either my second or my third favorite, but I really, really liked it. And I like the fact that it's not extremely sweet. The notes, you might think that it's extremely sweet, but it's not. A very sweet, fruity fragrance is Pax as well. It has a similar vibe to Kirke from Tiziana Terenzi, but this one has some incense. It's just a touch, okay? A little bit of pepper as well. And then it's very, very musky for some reason. I can't really smell it on my skin, but everyone around me can smell me. Like, I wore it the other day. This was my scent of the day yesterday. And everyone was like, Gabby, please stop. Stop spraying because everyone can smell you. Something that you need to know about Lorenzo Pasalia, his fragrances are eternal. And not strong, okay? These fragrances are not strong. These fragrances are eternal. Especially the next one, Extreme Passion. This, yes, it definitely has... A way more similar vibe to Kirke, Herba Pura, that type of DNA. But it's just so strong. Like if you spray this one today, and if you don't want to take a shower, you're going to smell for the next three, four, five days. Honestly, it is that, that strong. Everything that he creates, it's extremely strong. Uh, we do have samples as well on the website, uh, but you definitely need to try this brand. The next one, Giardini di Toscana. I overlooked these two perfumes, okay, because I was busy with Bora Bora, I felt in love with Celeste, and then I was testing them again. Scintilla is the first one. Scintilla definitely reminds me of Celeste. This one has the violet and the iris, but you can definitely smell the pineapple. It has a pineapple note, it has an apple note, and I think it has some ambroxan as well. Uh, that's similar, but it's not... If it's not as fruity, I would say, as Celeste. With Celeste, you can definitely smell the raspberry. With this one, with Chintilla, you can smell some fruits somewhere in the background. Let me, let me just spray it again because I need to remind myself how this one smells. But I feel like the fruity note is stronger in Celeste. So that's why I liked it more when I first tested it. But immediately after that, when I tested Chintilla again, I was like, okay, I love this one as well. And Blue Indaco... It's a musk perfume that I actually really, really like. This one is musk, almond, vanilla, and frangipani. It gives me the vibe of heliotrope for some reason. You know, heliotrope, the purple flower that smells like almond, but in a floral way, and it's musky and powdery. If you like musky fragrances, but you want an almond touch to it, you definitely need to try this one out. Uh, it's a bit powdery as well for some reason, even though it doesn't have any iris, any violet. Uh, but yeah, it's such, such a beautiful fragrance. It's a bit mature, but absolutely love it. The next brand, Peris Monte Carlo. You know how much I love Vanite Tahiti. And these two, I love probably as much as Vanite Tahiti. We have Ilang Ilang No Zibi. This is tropical flowers in a bottle. That's it. This is literally pure Ilang Ilang on the skin with a little bit of cardamom, a little bit of jasmine. If you don't like Ilang Ilang, this fragrance is not going to be for you. If you like Ilang Ilang, you're going to love it. And Cacao Azteque is definitely not your typical cacao chocolate fragrance. Yes, it has cacao, but it has a lot of cardamom. It has black and pink pepper. It has some tuberose. This one, it does, it's not sweet. I would not say it's a sweet fragrance. It's definitely unisex. It definitely has the cardamom. It's definitely, I don't know. It smells like a Mexican chocolate if you ever had that it's mexican cacao you know that it's not sweet you can smell the cacao but it's definitely not sweet love it but you need to try it first because it's not your traditional gourmand next fragrances that we're gonna have in here are from sospiro you know that i basically just love this brand uh, at this point liberto 
it's a very very different fragrance even for me this one has peach bergamot green notes and ozonic notes it's definitely very ozonic green you can smell the peach but it's a green peach uh, so again it's a very very unique fragrance it smells incredible in the summer but you need to try it first and then basso is definitely more masculine what I'm smelling with this one is the grapefruit. It has some carnation, it has some vetiver, it has some celery seeds. It's definitely a more masculine. This is a fragrance that my partner absolutely loves. It's a bit too masculine for me. But again, if you love vibrato and you're a guy, you're gonna love this one. And the next one and last one is Massa from Kajal. Let's first just appreciate the beauty of this bottle. I know we're not talking about bottles, but this bottle, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. If I can wear Basso, this one is too masculine for me, but I love it on a guy. This one is going to be petted grain. It has patchouli, aquatic notes, herbal notes. It's very herbal, aquatic in the same time, but it's sexy. And it does last quite a long time, especially for being like a summer fragrance. Uh, but yeah, this, like I said, it's not for me. It's definitely not for me. It's too masculine for me. I absolutely love it. And these were all of the fragrances that I had. Uh, obviously, the first one. I received in PR, all of the other ones I got on my website, but I'm not featuring every single fragrance that I have on the website because there are some that are definitely not for me. Um, and I know that someone might like them, but that maybe not for me, but I just wanted to have the brand because that I know that other people really, really like them. But EPC, don't forget about EPC. By the way, I have a coupon code. You need, you need to try this brand out because it's amazing. But yeah, that was it for today. I hope you like this video and I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.